it's Thursday, it's 10 p.m. On my list, we have weld the frame, front axles, mount it, mount the motor, mount the transmission, set the rear axles. The frame's still on the table. The, uh, the motor's on the floor. We'll see. It's 10 p.m., so it's going to be a long night. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing a lot more different stuff. And we'll get into that tomorrow. You said you're making a gas tank for me? Yeah, I'm making a, just a simple frame that'll set in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. It'll weld to the body of the car, and then there'll be some straps on the top. Hold the tank in place. Just really simple, simple, basic design. Right. Nothing fancy. What you got going over here, man? I was just working on these arms right now. We're on what? Working on the arms, the rear uh, bag arms. Right. That's a good old stainless steel. So you're just, you're just making them from them scratch? Yeah, Chris over there laser cuts them and then we get them all fit up. Get them, weld these little in, these little circles in. All right, so what's going on over here? Uh, we're tacking up this stainless steel frame. And then uh, slowly working on 3 16 tubing, tacking up, make sure everything's nice and straight, even, and then tacking up and then do a nice little fillet weld in there. Hey, I'm not very tall, I'm using on the size of this. <laughs> so this is a 5.3 uh, LS come out of a uh, truck, like a 2002, 2001, I don't really know, I got it on Marketplace for cheap, about $600. Uh, we're doing a twin turbo setup on it, um, Max Out Garage is going to help tune with it and everything. They are looking for 550 horsepower, which is a good amount for you know, a thousand pound car. Um, we hooked a turbo 350 up to it with a adapter plate, and we're just gonna do a ratchet shifter and basic turbo setup. Uh, pretty standard for these. We're uh, putting cross members in right now because uh, our rear suspension is gonna be based on this cross member. Put a little bit extra horsepower in on this one, so we're gonna do a little extra bracing so that we don't break everything. <laughs> we got a lot of guessing going on around here. So basically this is parts of our front suspension. It's kits that I sell that you can put on your hot rod. This is just kind of a special one because we've never done it out of stainless steel. And well, my wife is a stickler for perfection and required a stainless steel frame. So that's what we're doing. So we're building everything out of stainless steel. Thank you, wife. Hey, whatever these are. Pass it on to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, pass it. Hey man, do this. <laughs> you can just come off the corner? Yeah. Yeah, and it's just like square cut, straight down the corner. Yeah, I'm just gonna Maybe like two something inches over the top. My wife wants it to work. I'll make it work. It always does somehow. Yeah, it works. I just turned the handle and the spider came out. That's Nancy. She's bad. Nancy makes everything easy. First time to fucking figure out brakes. Yeah. This is an eBay kit. We're gonna, we're gonna cut this up. We're gonna modify this. This is this is not gonna work at all. It will though. And it's gonna work like that. We're gonna just do something else. Try a different way. for buying a kit and thinking that it's gonna work with your custom car. Not really how it's meant to do. 
I want to be over here. I want to be there. I want to be over there. You made that happen. I need some stuff. Somewhere. I don't want to go and sleep over there. They said this thing can only cut eight plate. They were completely wrong. <laughs> It can definitely do 5 sixteenths if you put a little ass in it. We didn't even have to use a cutoff wheel. Here's these bolts and some tabs for those motor mounts. I bought those like last month. <laughs> they could have traveled oh very far in a month. They could have walked to another state. That's bad. That's very bad. Malfunction. I am in danger. Okay. We're good. We're good. I can't. I don't have my glasses on. I can't read the drill bit sizes. <laughs> I don't know what. I just have a pile of drill bits and I have no idea what I'm drilling holes. There's the bolt. It wasn't a drill bit, it was a bolt. The wrong bolt. Yeah. Uh. Finally. Motor mount. Fuck no, I don't have. Look, here it is. There it is. Are we gonna weld that? I gotta build it. We're busy doing camera stuff here. It's fucking Hollywood, man. Jeez. <laughs> Hey Zach, yeah. give me a second on banging on stuff. So last night we uh, pretty much got the frame more or less together. We welded off a lot of it. Well, Zach did. I, didn't, I just got to hang out and tell him to weld stuff. Uh, late last night we threw the frame on the ground, mounted the motor and the transmission, got that stuff pretty much all fit up, decided where the body's gonna go. Uh, we did the front suspension. Uh, tonight we're gonna start on the rear suspension, finish welding all the frame out. Uh, probably late, late tonight we'll end up mounting the body doing some ports, doing cross members and everything like that, trying to get the structure of the body on and uh, get that all fit up. And hopefully by tomorrow morning, it's gonna look like a car. And uh, we'll have the grill on the body and you're gonna really start seeing what this is turning into. It's gonna be pretty badass. So Beto's over here, he's doing a disc brake conversion right now. Uh, that's a very old axle, 60s, something like that. I don't know, it came out of something or other. But he's putting a disc brake conversion on it. We want good brakes for what we're doing. We're not trying to uh, have 500 horsepower and not be able to stop. Manny is taking apart the axle in the rear, getting all the brake lines off there. We're gonna replace all that stuff and uh, the vent's kind of in our way. So we'll move that and we'll re-weld the uh, vent somewhere better on the axle. Uh, he's pulling the studs out of the engine. Uh, we had a couple broken studs on the exhaust side getting those out. And uh, Zach's doing a whole bunch of welding right now and finishing up this frame. I'm gonna hang out and watch. That's about it. There's nothing between these two. That's it. <laughs> Finally. So what we're doing here, we're putting like a riser on the floor. Um, all of these bodies are channeled to sit over top of the frame. We have a four inch frame, but I don't want this car to sit on, actually sit on the ground. So we're setting this up to basically sit about, you know, yay, quarter inch, half inch off the ground. But we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna run crossbars across and set the floor all in. But, uh, so that's how I channel these. Just put it right over the factory floor when they have a factory floor. Not all of them come with that, so. So what they're doing right now is when we build our frames, when we build a customer frame, we let them do whatever they would like to do. But when I build my own frames, we run quarter bolts all the way down to the sides. Over 
here we have uh, pretty much our hot side. Uh, we'll run all of our electrical down one side to keep it on one side of the vehicle. And on the other side of the vehicle, we're gonna run all of our uh, fuel lines and all of our air lines. Basically, you don't want the, the hot side. If there ever was for some reason a ground out or something like that and it melted, you don't want it to ground out on your fuel lines. You don't want it to melt all your air lines. You know, we use a nylon line, so it'd be pretty bad. So basically, that's something we're doing right now. And we're setting all this up, and right after that, we're pretty much good to put this on the ground. Hey man, I don't get the bag. Pick that up. Alright. We're just gonna slide on them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Captain Morgan, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> So all the frame is welded up, everything's together. We put the body on, uh, might not have to take it back off. Everything fits really well. Didn't count on that, it's looking really good. Uh, everything's good, we, uh, we welded everything. Tomorrow morning we're gonna start uh, going and doing cross braces in the inside to actually mount the body down. It's just sitting on there right now, it's sitting on the ground. We'll actually start mounting it to the frame. Uh, we already made frame brackets so that we, you know, we pre-did our, our frame mounts, now we just gotta get the body to go to it. Uh, axles are all done, uh, all the suspension is welded up, pretty much just needs the airbags put in. Looking really good, tomorrow we can start doing turbos and the radiator lines and fuel lines and brake lines, the brakes are in, uh, we just gotta put the lines in, but all the, uh, the actual hardware and everything is welded in, and um, things are looking really awesome right now, and the car is looking pretty badass too, so, looking good. because I'm bad at ordering things and I completely yeah, I forgot. So we're gonna go ahead and roll some pipe out of plate. Hey, you think a foot's good enough for your pipe? Good, glad. It's gonna work, it's definitely gonna work. So uh, we had to ask Alexa and she wouldn't talk to us. She just kept telling us stupid stuff. But uh, we had to Google and do some arithmetic to find out the circumference of a four inch piece of pipe. And we got 12.56. We learned this in high school, I think, or maybe middle school, but now we don't remember things like that. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna weld this, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're getting there already. Look, man, we we got the circumference from Alexa. She said it's it should be the right diameter. We'll see. Oh, you asked her. Yeah, we asked her, and she gave us a bunch. She gave us a bunch of roundabout answers that was a bunch of crap. And then I had to rely on the guy uh, over here with the photography to figure it out on his phone. <laughs> I just, I'm just kind of looking right now. But, but like straight, like. Easily, 
Oh. You should go down there and be like, see me. You drill them both the same. Bad guys? That's a CO2 in it or something. Wanting straight all gone. I need help. I need a sawzall right now. <laughs> this is no good. You're chopping it? Oh my god, look. You said you can wear a top hat. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Brian. This is an expert. <laughs> So it's three something in the morning. Uh, we're still plugging away, but we have a lot to do. Uh, we have some turbo issues with the uh, clocking in a V-band that uh, was not happy with how we were using it. Uh, past that, permanent redesign of radiator that uh, we're gonna use it because it's expensive. We're gonna use it, but it's not cooperating with us. And we're putting sheet metal in right now, which we have all of it to do. So things are looking bad, but I think we're gonna be okay eventually. <laughs> and um, things are looking really good. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll see how this works. Out. Seven hours until we have to be at the shop to uh, start dynoing or tuning and wiring. We'll see how it goes.